Catalytic converter thieves have hit many areas in Jefferson County, as well as nationwide, in recent months, and one city last week set up a sting to nab the thieves in the act. Huey Town Police set out a bait vehicle Thursday night and several hours later, three men pulled up, emerged with a saw, and began to try to remove the catalytic converter. We know this because we were hiding in the woods, in the rain, with night vision, equipment, said Huey Town Police Chief Mike Yarbrough. We wanted to catch these people in the act so we could put them in jail. One man was taken into custody at the scene Friday morning. Two others got away, but detectives were able to quickly identify them. The second suspect was captured the next day, and the third remains at large but warrants have been signed against him. Those charged with unlawful breaking and entering a vehicle and possession of burglary tools are, Evan Horton, 33, of Helena, James King, 23, of Pleasant Grove, and Johnny Underwood, 26, of Hueytown. Underwood has not yet been taken into custody. Bond for each is set at $15,000. Police said they've had multiple thefts in the city. Just a few nights before last week's sting, they investigated five catalytic converter thefts in one night. It's happening a lot, said Hueytown Lieutenant Michael Chupé. They're getting big money at scrapyards. Catalytic converters, an anti-pollution device, are popular theft items because of valuable metals inside, including platinum and rhodium. Recyclers pay $50 to $200 to legally obtain a failed converter, or one from a junked vehicle. Rhodium is a rare metal that is used in automotive catalytic converters to meet strict emission norms and the price has surged over the past year. According to an NPR report, the price of rhodium has skyrocketed to about $28,000 an ounce, though only a tiny fraction of that quantity, perhaps worth a few hundred dollars, goes inside each converter. An Illinois-based group, the National Insurance Crime Bureau, is tracking the surge in catalytic converter thefts, says there's been about a tenfold increase in thefts since 2018, with more than 14,000 reported being swiped in 2020, according to the NPR report. NICB executive David Glaw told NPR the COVID-19 pandemic has cut production of the metals at overseas mines. In February, Bessemer police arrested five people in a spate of catalytic converter thefts in that city. The accused thieves, said Bessemer Police Lieutenant Christian Clemens, were targeting car lots, church vans and any other place where cars are left unattended. Investigators said they didn't believe the suspects were working together as a group, but said the theft shed light on an ongoing crime in the area. Hueytown Police said they're going to continue their efforts to stop the thefts. If these thieves know we're hiding in the woods watching, Shupe said, Maybe they'll think twice before the next time they try to cut one out.